Hi, it's Jimmy, and we're playing realistic golf with realistic expectations. And what that means is we're going to take a scratch par for the course, add our daily handicap on top to get our new target for the day. We're going to distribute those shots against the nine easiest holes and the nine hardest holes. Welcome back. You're joining us on hole seven. We are currently even with the card at the moment, and we are playing now a 380 meter par six. So this is stroke index five. So I get two shots in this hole. Very nice. Middle of the fairway. I'm guessing about 180, 180 out. So I got five wood. If it's short, that's okay. This is stroke hole, I think it was six. Anyway, it's a two shotter. So this is a par six for me. I don't need to be on the green in two. I'll hit that a bit left. Okay, hit the base of that tree and kicked out. So I'm underneath a tree on the right hand side. All right, let's go. There's a twig underneath that ball. All right, we're putting. Let me remove the flag. Not for me, for you. Oh, <laughs> it's not the new butter. It's definitely not. Okay, we're under the card for the first nine, which is pretty good. Now we have stroke index 17. So the second easiest hole in the course. It's 150 meter par four and it's downhill. So it should be a nice little hole to play. Okay, so this is 150 meters, but downhill. So I'm not going to fit, hit the five hybrid this time. I'm going to hit my seven iron. I was high off a club face, all right, so now it should be soft. Ah, oh, it's just a little bit short. All right, technically we're not on the green, but that's okay. Oh, big sprinkler head there. All right, just... Um, Don't leave it short, like you've left the last couple. Well, that's definitely not gonna be short. It's a regulation par. Two birdies in a row, how good is that? So now we're onto the nine fold just to finish off the front nine. We have a 320 meter par five and it's par five because this is stroke index 10. All right, ninth hole, we've got 320. Uh, it goes around to the right hand side. I had a look when I was up there, there's plenty of space. So if I do happen to hit a really slicey one or it fades more than I want, which is probably a slice, then there's room up there the grass is cut, so I'm going driver again. Also, if I hit it straight, it'll be okay. All right, now that is uh, absolutely perfect. Laser says, low battery, great. 116, even better. Ah, oh, well, it's uh, a bit short anyway. Okay, pin high, just off the green to finish off the front nine. Now, last time I hit through this, it was very slow, so be sure to be more committed. High side of the hole. Okay, that's too committed. I don't know, like, why do I do this to myself? Like, I was closer over there, and then I just whacked it. For four. I 
Okay now. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. That was good. Okay, on to hole 10, starting the back nine. So this is a 320 meter par five. It's par five to stroke index 13. And this one's a little bit rough to watch. I'm sorry about that. About 120 meters and I've got to hit it low. So I'm closing off the face of an eight and just chipping it. That wasn't low at all. Never mind. Uh, it puts me in a shitty spot. I should have just chipped it back to the fairway. Now I haven't even got a line, so just going sideways. And that wasn't even enough, so good start to this nine. Our uh, problem with that last shot is that I lack commitment and a goldfish memory. Like I had to forget about it and move on to what's in front of me. So I like what's in front of me. Play this shot all the time. Just short. Oh, too long again. All right, what did I learn from that putt? Apart from the fact that I'm shit. I learned that I should be going left side of the cup. What the fuck is that? Ah! What did I learn from that putt? I really didn't handle myself that well at all on that hole now. Moving on, put that one in the past. This is now stroke index 11. It's a par five, it's 360 meters back the other way. So let's see if we can bounce back here. Yeast and iron iron down there. Just to the right hand side again. And short, okay. All right, not a bad miss. Um, I've got a 60 degree in my hand just to pop it up a little bit. Confident with this club, confident with this swing. Uh, okay, too much. Okay. Hit it too far. It's also sloping back towards the camera. For four. And I've just smashed it again. Good clean up. Oh, that's a par five. Okay, hole 12, 340 meter par six. It's a par six because it's stroke index six and it makes a really good opportunity for us to try and get back under the card again. We were really disappointed about losing those couple of shots a couple of holes ago, but we're trying to get that out of our mind and just move on. So let's see how we play this one. Okay, 340 meter par six. Goes around to the left. Oh, I've hit that one high, but it's okay because it's with wind at the moment. All right, this is a par six. Uh, I've got 180 in, I've got to go over a tree. Uh, I'm not going for it in two because I have a couple of shots up my sleeve. So we're just gonna hybrid it somewhere down the right hand side and wedge on. Or we go over the trees. Actually went a little bit further than I thought it would, but that's okay. Little chippy bumper up there. Very happy for three. All right, for 44. Oh, just missed. Uh, 
that's a five. Okay, so that's going to wrap up part two of the series with six more holes coming up shortly. So please make sure you subscribe so you can follow along. Currently one under the card. Thank you.